Today in Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you 10 ways to use the option key to 10X your editing speed. You can use the option key to replace a clip on your timeline. From your browser, go ahead and locate whatever clip you want to replace down here on the timeline, and then you can just push option R and that will replace it with the exact amount of time it takes to fill in that clip. If the clip happens to be shorter than whatever you're replacing, I'll push option R, it is going to let you know that there is not enough media in the source clip to fill the range in the timeline. So you can go ahead and push continue if you so desire. This next tip was shown to me by my friend Dylan John. I'll have a link to his channel down below. If we push T, we will be given the trim tool, which normally allows us to just simply slide and edit by clicking and dragging on it. You can also slide an edge by using this tool. However, did you know that if you push the option key and click and drag, this will allow you to slide the entire clip within the timeline. It saves you so much time from grabbing an edge, extending it, then shortening it down over here. It's just one smooth edit, saving you that much more time. When you have skimming enabled in Final Cut Pro, you'll notice that I have this red playhead over my mouse wherever I am on the timeline. When I push play, the playhead will jump back over to wherever my mouse was and then continue playing throughout my scene. However, if I want to start playback from wherever the playhead is rather than wherever my mouse is, I can push option and space and that will start playback from the playhead. This next tip was shown on Jen Jager's amazing YouTube channel. I'll have a link to her as well down below. When you are going to apply an effect, normally you can just mouse over the effects to get a good idea of what they will look like on your scene. However, if you want to change the amount that this effect is changing your clip, you can push option while mousing over and you'll see how that adjusts the value on your clip. You can then double click and you'll notice that up here in the inspector, it has applied the effect at the same value we were originally previewing it at. And speaking of changing values, you can actually select a value here in your inspector, push option and then up and down on your arrow keys and that will allow you to change it in increments of one. However, if you want to change it in increments of 10, say on your position parameter, you can push option shift and up and down and that will then change it in values of 10. Oftentimes I need to copy and paste a clip so I'll push command C to copy it, then I'll push command V. But you'll notice that has inserted the clip on my primary timeline, which means we just created a cut in the middle of this single shot. To get around that, you can push option V and that will paste it as a connected clip, which means it will be above your primary storyline. And speaking of copying and pasting, sometimes you don't always want to select a clip, command C, command V to paste it. Maybe you just want to quickly duplicate it with one button. You could push option, click and drag, and that will immediately duplicate the clip. A really fast and powerful way to edit in Final Cut Pro is by using option left bracket or option right bracket to trim the ends up to the playhead. Again, I'll select this edit point, option left bracket, and you can see how that edit point has moved up to the playhead. However, if I want to trim off both edges at the same time, I can push R to get my rain selection tool, click and drag over the portion that I want to keep, then I can push option backslash and that will trim off both edges at the same time. There are many different reasons to use a gap clip in your timeline and one way that I always see people adding gap clips is by pushing option, clicking and dragging to duplicate a clip, then they'll push shift delete to insert that gap clip. But there is a much faster way to do it. All you need to do is mouse over wherever you want to insert that gap clip, then push option and W and that will automatically insert a gap clip for you, saving you that many more steps. And last but not least is to use option E to apply your default video effect. Now I do believe that the default effect is the color board. So if I push option E, you'll see how that has applied it here in my inspector. However, if you push command six, that will open up your color inspector. So by having your color board as your default video effect, I think that is really wasted potential. What I recommend instead is to go in, make your color adjustments as you would like them, maybe apply a LUT and make any other adjustments that you regularly make on your videos. Then go ahead and select save effects preset. I'll just call it the default effect. Then we can throw it into whatever category we like and push save. From there, all I need to do is look up that effect, default effect, 
right click and then select make default video effect. So now anytime I'm making a project in Final Cut Pro, I can go ahead and just select whatever clip I need and I'll push option E and that will automatically apply both the color wheels and the custom LUT, saving me that much more time in editing. If this video was helpful to you in any way, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you may wanna check out this video where I show you 10 powerful tips for Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.